Hello, and in this video I will show you how to use stretching new feature in Prefire Vernoy and I guess this feature is new not only for this modifier but for any other fragmentation tools which create Vernoy fragments and uh, I will just show you how it works so just a simple box we fragment it now we get this usual Vernoy fragments and uh, let's make it interactive and now we can go to fragments and there you can see three spinners for each axis and using one or two of them we can stretch our Warner fragments over desired axis so let's start with Z and as you can see increasing this Z spinner I am start stretching I start stretching this uh, fragments so the more the higher the value the more they start look like uh, wood splinters and as you can see it works in real time and uh, right now these fragments are not Warner anymore since they do not uh, ob obey the Warner fragment rules but who cares so this is I guess the easiest way to create some kind of wood splinters but using the other two um, stretching Access properties you can create some kind of squished rocks so increasing x you can in stretch them in the x axis but then you can increase y and stretch them in y direction as well so uh, now they do not look like uh, wood splinters but more like squished rocks so let's uh, let's explode them but I also want to mention that there is a stretching axis here and uh, let's say let's set here zero, zero, 090 and using this stretching axis you can rotate in any uh, direction you want okay let's make it back so now let's set it to zero and set here 80 and 80 and now let's explode So this is how it looks this uh, stretched fragment. Completely not like a Warnoy. But now let's create something more real. So here's my wooden fence. Just a quick uh, example of how you can quickly create something wooden. So the first step, sign verify Warnoy. Uh, let's set here 95%. Let's set it to zero now so you will see the difference. Fragment interactive and let's set here 300 points. And now we can start stretching it. Maybe 93. So this is our fragmented wood. And also let's fragment this one. Now let's explode them. So here are 586 objects 
we can add them in sleeping list sorry in sleeping list here and uh, let's create something what will fit it some kind of cylinder maybe And add it in static and kinematic list here. And now we can basically start simulation. So, just in a few minutes, you can get pretty real wood splinters and demolish them. Okay, thank you for watching.